Welcome back to the city of Florence, Alabama, the official host city of the 2013 Boat U.S. Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship. Oh my gosh, we're so excited that the Boat U.S. Collegiate National Championship Bass Fishing Tournament is in town again this year for the second year in a row. And I think they're having a great day, everything I've seen. It brings so many wonderful people to town who have never heard of us before. And uh, we, we think we've got a great little secret here and we're glad to share it with everyone else. Uh, we love to have fishermen here. All, almost all of our hotels are boat friendly. The economic impact that fishermen bring to our area is phenomenal. And the city of Florence is just is awesome. There's so much, there's, it's, people are nice and there's so many things around. There's always something fun to do and besides the fact that we have this awesome Tennessee River. Fishermen have always loved this area because you can fish Wilson or Pickwick. Just, you just have to lock through the dam. We have all kinds of fishermen. The Association of Collegiate Anglers welcomes nearly 200 teams hailing from 26 states and Canada, from large institutions and small ones, to battle it out on Pickwick Lake for bragging rights. Located on the Tennessee River, Pickwick Reservoir runs 50 miles from Pickwick Landing Dam in Tennessee to the Florence area below Wilson Dam. The total surface area at Full Summer Pool is 47,500 acres. Pickwick Reservoir's greatest reputation is its superb smallmouth bass fishing. This year, Alabama and Tennessee have the same 15-inch minimum size restriction on smallmouth, which will allow collegiate anglers to fish Tennessee waters. It's one of the top five lakes in the country. Um, I guess everybody thinks of Okeechobee and Gunnersville as, as your two, you know, main ones. But Pickwick's, you know, it's probably one of the best ones in the nation. I, I've loved it. I've been fishing it since I could walk, could remember, and uh, it's been shelling out some of the biggest bags I've ever seen Whoa. in the past three years. There's cypress trees. You can catch them deep. You can catch them shallow. You can catch them at the dam. There's just I don't think there's another lake in the United States where there's so many ways a tournament can be won. One of the most popular smallmouth bass fishing areas is the horseshoe section directly downstream of Wilson Dam to the end of Seven Mile Island. Generation discharge from Wilson Dam creates a strong current in this area that smallmouth bass love. The middle to lower reaches of Pickwick provide excellent yes. habitat for both largemouth bass and smallmouth bass. There's Pickwick. a lot of fish. Yeah. A lot loaded, of, loaded with fish. A lot of fish. There's tons of fish here. Uh, a lot of big ones. That big bite, I mean, it's definitely worth it. I mean, gosh, there's there's some monsters here. It's such a vast, awesome fishery that you can go and catch them shallow, you can catch them deep, and there's just so many ways to catch them, and especially this time of year where they're out moving to the ledges, but there's still a few good fish shallow, and you can do whatever you want. It's an awesome fishery. You can catch smallmouth, largemouth, any way you want to, just about anywhere on the lake. You can fish grass, you can fish ledges, you can fish current, the dam, anything that you want to. Everybody gets to see how amazing our lake is. I mean, it's it's an unbelievable fishery. I mean, people who haven't been here, like I, I'm new to this lake this year. When I first came here, I, I was blown away. It, I mean, there's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna be really surprised what this lake's gonna shell out. It's pretty neat. Hundreds of students, representing nearly half the United States, as well as Canada, converged on McFarland Park, the launch site of the 2013 Boat U.S. Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship. Collegiate anglers are getting ready for day one of the most prestigious collegiate fishing tournament in the U.S.